Here's another quick example of finding area under a curve. This time I want to find the area under the curve of sine x between 0 and 2 pi. That means we're going to do the definite integral from our uh, x limits, we call that, uh, 0 to 2 pi, of the function in question, in this case sine x, and I have to put that dx, remember that's like our notational thing. And the first step is to take the antiderivative of sine x, and if you recall that the derivative of cosine x was minus sine x, that means the antiderivative of sine x is minus cosine x. And I think you can think, uh, if you took the derivative of minus cosine, you'd get a minus a minus sine, right? Okay, so this should work out. And then I write this, we call it an evaluation bar. The curvy S turns into a bar, and I plug 2 pi into our function, minus, I plug in 0. So this will be minus cosine of 2 pi. I've got minus a minus cosine of 0, cosine of 0, bump my camera a little, and now I just have to evaluate these things. Okay, well, uh, cosine of 2 pi is the same as cosine of 0, so uh, cosine of 0 is 1. I've got minus a minus is a plus, and cosine of zero is one. Minus one plus one is zero. Now, hey, isn't that kind of funny? Um, because this is not zero area. Or is it? The thing here is, um, this is symmetrical, right? I didn't draw it exactly symmetrical, but I've got uh, a positive area here, and I have just as much negative area here. So when I add them together, I get zero total area.